Wait, let's get this dude a voice, bro. Like, the, everyone just can't sound the same. You feel me? I saw y'all pulling, driving that nice old truck. Bro, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> y'all already know what is going on, everybody. Llama Punch here, and welcome to Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. Now, from the looks of it, it's looking like the last episode, man. When the game first came out, Home Alone, I remember it said there's only five titles there, little question marks, and here we are at the fifth one. I'm sure they're going to be making more, but bro, Fierce of Fathom's been around for a minute now. Has it been like three years? I don't even know, bro, but I'm absolutely hype right now. Without further ado, let's get right into this. And dang, two hours? <laughs> Y'all already know this is about to be a long episode. Let's get this. Fears to Fathom, Episode 5. Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Ooh, here we are. Need a coffee to get done with the day. Dang. In a cubicle. Oh my gosh, dude. Where the coffee at? I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Epsol Solicitor's Office. Shepherd Title Group. Suya Marine Time. Maritime. Ah. Shut up. I where that coffee at? Lil Keurig? You know I'm thirsty. You need to prepare a cup of coffee. Grab it. Ah! We got a little macchiato? Okay. Oh, we need some. We need water, don't we? Cup. Fill that jungle with water. We know how it works. Let's get this. Ah, a little late night, bro. Trying to make ends and me putting in the work. A little overtime. Need to put the lid on. Okay. Bam. Let's get back to it. It's a pretty nice office. Probably my worst nightmare having to be stuck in one of these cubicle high rises but hey you making bands you making bands bro Let, let's not complain oh we got sip hold up let me i need to use the restroom okay Ooh, a little sip mechanic dang it's a long ass sip probably hot right i don't know why this reminds me have you guys seen on tiktok that one dude who like walks up to the starbucks hello hello how are we Good morning, good, good morning, morning, Anderson. Morning. How are we? We are amazing. Oh, I love it. I love it. Woo what do we got? What do we got? It's special. Oh, that's me right now. Wait, restroom etiquette. Let's lock in. I can't read that. One more sip for taking a little tinkle. Whoa, what the? We about to play some basketball before this? Why is there a locker room in here? I gotta go pee pee, bro. Got open. My woman. Okay, my bad. Ah, let's get to it. Coffee in hand and going pee is absolutely crazy work, but whatever. Hey, yo, what the? F <laughs> I know that ain't a piss meter. Hey, that sounds like a dude. Hey, this is the lady room, buddy. There's jokes, pal. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> How are you? It's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You working late again, huh? Yeah, well, you young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too. Okay, bro. Dang. We just got into this already a jump scare. Now I'm shutting the door on you, pal. Stay in there. G to throw. <sighs> Get rid of that. My phone's ringing. It's a business. Got money to make, bills to pay, buddy. What we got? Go for Sydney hey, Harper. Hey, it's Mike. Whoa. Hey, I've Mike. Been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? 
Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. My battery dies at the worst times. Oh, Let's snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh... Uh... Okay, Mike, I'm gonna be honest with you. Your aura is not there. No, it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, bro. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming lately. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What? Okay, bro. Uh, hang up. Like you ain't you making me worse, bro. Um, about our trip. Did you get a chance to book the rental house? just really wanted to see you. And Nora. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Hey. Yeah? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe we I go. could pick you up and ride together. It'd be oh nice to catch up. Oh my gosh, bro, this dude. Read a signal, pal. My phone's not acting up. You low-key just weird, bro. I'm not trying to spend time with you. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Bro, I know they, they only gave a sure and sounds good. I'm done. We're trapped. Sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait. One more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. Okay, you always right. had a knack for finding the best spots. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm <laughs> excited, I guess. Yeah, bro, you would do one yapper, All that's right, for sure. Talk to you later, Harp. Yeah, I'll see you. Okay, Harp. This is comfortable, bro, trying to relive the old college days. Bro, I am in a cubicle. In a high rise, it is late at night. You think I'm trying to relive some college days? Let's get into this. What we got? Ooh. Nah, we on the sheets? Ah, uh, bruh. I know that this works brutal. Type invader. Yo! Play. What it? What? Select? Hold up. Oh! Uh, what'd I do? Had select. Oh! Yo, chill, 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 chill. I'm not good at typing, bro. Uh, safe view island. Oh, nah, I messed up. I'm done. Nah, we're already... I'm cooked, bro. I'm cooked. Done. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Ground serve ship. Earth mine big. Oh, y'all ain't even get a chance. Now y'all getting cooked. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me lock in. Probable. Just brother? What? Salt. Question. I type like, bro, I type so bad, bro. I'm so slow. Plan. Name. Column. Born. Region. S suffix great? What is that? Bro, I'm dead. I'm so cooked. Starno. True weather. Oh! Weather. First class. Uh, uh. Shout out to England. Yeah, where they at? Where they at? Did we make it? Oh, let's go. 153 health, 50 accuracy. That's not bad. What else we got? Browser. Um. A, B, G. But what do you mean by that? I was. Yo, chill. I wasn't going to type anything. Ren. Till, oh, I forgot we actually had to type this in. Rentalcabin.com. Feeling un... Wait, hold up. What's this? Nothing? Okay. Search. Woodbury. Ba so under th 100. Ooh, probably three star. Uh, yo, bro. All these other ones got like four or five stars, bro. You sure you can't like splurge a little bit? No ditty. Um, bro, what the? 249? Beater house. Okay, bro. It looks like we stuck at private cabin in Woodbury. Let's book it. Wait, can we check reviews? No? Okay. The booking has been confirmed. Print that John out. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent in daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. 
You know, somebody cue the spooky ambiance. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, yeah, we met Mike, bro, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We ran a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. I know this ain't Mike. Is that a PS Vita? Try it! I'm about to knock this dude up. What do you mean by that? Wait, what? I meant to say knock this dude out, bro. I'm done. Yo, how I answer this? How I answer? Escape to hang up. I forgot my suitcase in the elevator. Hey, yo! A lot is happening right now. I said I was going to knock this dude up. I didn't even mean that, bro. Read messages. Pulling into the parking garage now. You down? Yup. So this Brody... I'ma be real with you, bro. That sweater ain't doing you justice. Heart. Hug. A little, little hug. I know he just tried to sniff me, but it's fine. That's still how you hug people? <laughs> Why don't you hug me like you miss me? I'm out. Bro, I'm about to a test hug to see if you smelled first? I was right. Chuckle, fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Chuckle, long hug. Okay, bro. You look good. Thanks for- I, Bro, I ain't playing ball, bro. I'm changing subjects. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. I ain't gonna lie, Mike. You freaking me out, bro. Can I do it? Yeah. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Probably should ask where Nora is, but whatever. 4.26 p.m. Ooh, little cowboy man. This is actually a gift from my coworker, Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me, somehow. I see a little bit of resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Okay. Yo, where is Nora at? Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood, what do consultants even do? We consult. Explain? I'll explain. That sounds like... Important. Ooh. What was that? Did you see that? Did you see that school bus? See what? There's a school bus. Right there at the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've heard people do that on the internet. Wait, we got a text message. What, what was, uh, so what did we already say? Just some yap. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in. Ooh. Dang. Bro, I'm trying to read this, Mikey. You stop yapping. Oh, snap. That was close. You know. I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. 
75 mil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous, okay? We're on our way, be there around 6 p.m. Okay, please confirm me check-ins, okay, yeah. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from there. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. You're quite the uh, romantic, my man. It's kind of beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, pretty W, man. Five fourteen p.m. Ooh, snowy little Vermont town. Yo, Harp, check that out. What, the Dairy Mart? A little Moe's Pizza. Ooh. Rocket tear up a pizza right now. Hey, turn your high beams off, bro. You blind everybody in there. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you. These new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. <laughs> Prepare to land. <laughs> I don't slap this dude. We got a little cheese, veggie, salami, most special, bro. We tearing up this room. Come on in, Harp. Thanks. This just in. Ooh. Is that? I know that in case so. Bruh, hold up. Some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. <laughs> what is happening? Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. You little shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just Bro. clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. <laughs> rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a hey, studio yo. behind the camera. I think it would be better field of work for you. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't Yo, for her. I'd this? like to see you work the ENG sometime. Why are you How the pizza dare like you? That? I'm a certified news anchor. Certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. <laughs> How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Bro, that's insane, bro. Queso in this? Evening, folks. Looks like the Colts got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Man, you already hold up. Let me get the margarita. Mom's special, of course, and you already know the pep. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today? Thanks. Okay, bro. You ain't even asking me? Like, okay. No, I'm fine. I ain't even salty. All right, then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be 22 50 Fine, bro. That's some tax, though. The order number is 27. Just grab a C, and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. Hey. Right. Long sniff. Okay. It smells so good in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you right, bro. Ooh, Nora, hold up. Um, can you come back on that? You guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. The so no long way. and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights off. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. 
Ugh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure a harp stays up to let you in. You do it yourself, Mike. Dang. Bro, is she really leaving us with Mike? Oh, nah. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw it. Bro, I have a dude messing up a whole pie in my ear right now. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What do you mean by that? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! I'm fucking done! I hope I don't know what you're talking about. Order number 27, you folks are right there. Bro. He ain't even going to explain what he talking about. I'm done. Give me the pizza. I am getting out of here. All right, you folks are all set. Thanks. Let's tear up this pie, bro. Ooh. Got the margarita. Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Can't believe Norris missing out on this bomb -ah pizza. I know, right? Let's mess with this margarita. These eating sounds are uh, unique. Damn, Harp. You actually eat the crust? It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? Yeah. I guess. But you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? <clears throat> I'm not even... I'm starting to dislike you more and more as this episode goes on. Oh, this is the grandma pie? Right, oh. Hey there, my friends. Hello there. Wait, let's get this dude a voice, bro. Like, the, everyone just can't sound the same. You feel me? I saw y'all pulling, driving that nice old truck. <laughs> That's right. Not to bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. <laughs> y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where you headed? Just heading where the road takes me, a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down the snowy road? Uh, sure man, why not? Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Okay, my bad Mike, sorry for overstepping. That's on me. Isn't that what we we're doing? Sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. Yeah, he's right, only two seats in the truck. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. We should give you a ride. We would give you a ride, but there isn't any space. Okay. <laughs> you got to be crapping me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something. Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Are you threatening us? Mike, what are you going to do if he is? You ain't going to do nothing. No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry. I'm just cold and tired is all. I don't even know what this accent is. It's like Norwegian and Scottish had a baby. Yeah, thanks. Dang, bro. I'm, I would have put him in the bed. That'd be fine. Are you serious? Are you going to let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? Bro, Mike. If he tried to overstep, bro, I'm knocking him out, bro. You already know me. I stand on business. I'm trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can... Put you in a bad situation. All right, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Get the attitude, Mike. You pissing me off, bro. Hey, yo, W pizza, bro. To burp. Hey, yo, tear it up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, keep doing that. Nah. Okay. No, I'm, my bad, bro. Trash. Uh. All right. Let's get out of here. Holy, that was good. All right then, you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. We're close. Let's see, if my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. I get that. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. Bro, you'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys? Bet. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Deal. Take keys. Put it in. Right, let's get out of here. Truck keys. We actually whipping this? 5.49 p.m. Oh, burp. Uh.
Ooh, you're driving. This is your Revit. host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Bad, bad, bad. Be sincere. Ooh. Stay warm. Stay tuned. Dang. Feeling like Christmas around here. Hey, yo, get over, buddy. Oh, my bad. There's one way to take the scenic route. I crashed Mike's truck. Hold up, wait. Hold up. What's this pow we are be? Huh? Man, if this is copyright, someone dying, but hold up. Ooh, missed the tour. Sorry, put in reverse. Sorry, look over the shoulder. Ah. We go. Don't look at me, Mike, when I'm backing up. It's like the Beetlejuice bridge. Go pop. Yo, I'm messing with this song. I'm not going to lie with you, bro. Hey, where are we? Bro, I can't even tell where the road is right now. Bro, this reminds me. One time I was driving in the Baltimore, bro. I got to 695, bro. Full blizzard hit, bro. I could like barely see, bro. 695. Anyone from Baltimore already knows. 695 is insane. And with a blizzard, nah. Death wish, man. I made it though. Ooh, I drove past our cabin at first. Wait, where is it? Which one? I was supposed to get out. Okay, I guess it is here. I swear that's Powie on the radio, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It was a very cold night. I think, I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Is this it? 241. Let's get a little knock knock. Door was locked. I had to get the key from the lockbox. I couldn't, what did that say? I couldn't have parked Mike's truck there before checking in. Yeah. Let me pull the car in real quick. If I come, Park this baby in here. Ooh, oh my bad. Did you get your license from a cereal box? A little bit. I keep a ride on my side. This should be I like it. the words out of my mouth. Seems to lie in my life. I'm connected to a heart like the moon and the tides. And besides, Ooh, no wait, hold on. I don't even want to get out real quick. Life. I think the words come together well, and that's no coincidence. Mm. Trying to be the best that I could be without no wishing that. What are like you waiting brain, for, bro? Do you not hear this beat? Without, you feel so hesitant. Oh, fine, lie. we get out. We get out, bro. Fine. Yo, Dev, the soundtrack's low-key fire. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Oh, bro. Fierce to Fathom is so goaded, bro. I love this game. Door was locked. I have to get the key from my box. Right here. Yoink. Ooh. Wait, what's the what's the code? I remembered Rick had sent me the lockbox code. Let's check. 5176. 517. Six. Yoink. Give me. Get in here. Ooh. Teddy bear. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Alright, where we put that there for now? Checked in. The house was cozy and well furnished. Ooh. It's a nice little cabin, bro. Ooh, uh, nice brick kitchen, bro. I like it. Let's open this up. Come out. I don't know how to open it. There we go. Man, if you don't lock in some lettuce, we're gonna make salads, a little frozen yogurt, Peach Farms bell pepper. I thought that was ice cream. Like, that's everything. Yoink. We just place this over here for now. Ah! Bro, did you not bring, like, a backpack? Woo, sorry about that, Harp. You okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Okay. All the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Yeah, I really need to pee. I'll be back. 
You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking your bags. Uh, maybe don't do that. That seems weird, but okay. The smell alone told me pizza had done the number. I'm like, okay, bro. Get the sheet down. Bro, I thought he opened the door. Once again, piss a meter. Text Rick. Checked in. What is it with Fierce of Fathom games and having like multiple P scenes? Gotta wash the hands. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we good. You better not panty rating me, bro. You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. I'm good. Wanna check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Okay. Let's check over here. Dang, fireplace already on? some puzzles this living room is bigger than my apartment Ooh, little tv room Ugh. i am not messing with the ouija board hex no get get out the way buddy yeah, let's check upstairs got a little linen closet got the flashlight from the last game about to get quiet. <laughs> Ryan Gosling? Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us. Oopsie daisy. How did it mean, dude? Welcome to my sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. Trust me, we are not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was answering his question. Stay in your lane, Mike. You asked a question, Sydney. You made a statement, and you never mind, bro. This dude. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again. Since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say you treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. What now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Okay, bro. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Oh, dang. Right from the star's presence made me uncomfortable. Yeah. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. What we got in here. Ooh. Look, Harp, this room has a nice off view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Let's get going. Bro, I'm already feeling uneasy, bro. Got the laundry room. Ooh, a little patio. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Definitely. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks. Let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Yep. Let's get in here. Are you gonna leave now? Because you're freaking me out. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. We might not need it. Trust me, it's always best to know where your light is. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. So that's some foreshadowing. Power's gonna go out. And Mike's probably gonna try to touch me, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, hey. All righty, folks. I see already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob. Turn the knob up for more cooling down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. 
Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Bro, I do not know what accents I'm giving these people, bro. It's like a alternate universe. We're cooked. Are you coming, miss? Yeah, I'm coming. What we got down here? No access to guests. I couldn't open this door. What's up, man? Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Okay. How about we ask about this? Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over here? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Yeah, there is multiple bodies in there. Move your tush, bro. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from. Well, told me his mother died down here. So guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks. But if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> bro. This dude. Why Hand this dude staring at me like that, bro? <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. Okay, man. My bad. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging. Quietly pinging at around 6 and 10. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. Sydney. Ha! Ah, Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Uh, uh. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Mike, you are one to be talking right now. Anyway, let's go see if there is anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Mike uh, takes me as the guy who would say, uh, without me? So, I... Let's clean up. Can I lock this door real quick? No? Okay, fine. Fully clothed? Yoink. Hey, we good? Little towel. This room is freaky, bro. Yo, some about Airbnbs, bro. Like, I love traveling, but sometimes staying in these places low-key freaks me out, bro. I can't lie. Sleeping in a house that isn't yours? Nah, bro. You ain't know what's going on in there. Oh, okay, bro. That wasn't even a jump scare. I just really don't like Mike. Hey, Harp. Check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Plan to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it would be fun. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Alright, what we got? Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Arp? Yeah, just give me a second. Yoink. We got it. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. Are you up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first things first. We need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, Harp. Okay, bro. Please don't make rhymes with my name. Let me grab the bait. So what we got? Cheese delight? Maggot bait? 
Frozen. Bro, I can't read. Which one's for carp? Okay, I think this one says carp, which is cheese delight. Got it. Put on hook. Need to attach some bait a little bit. Ooh, we got it. Oh, creek's right here. It's all lit up. Ooh, that guitar should not be out in the snow. Let's get it, bro. I hope those carp are biting today. Yup. Peaceful uh, outing. Ooh, hold up. Hey, yo, wait, what? Real in. Oh, man. You know, I think the old saying is right. A bad day of fishing is still better than a good day at work. Hey. This guy's speaking the truth. Let's get it. Ready, ready, ready? I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to catch some fish. Y'all playing, bro. I'm not playing. Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ooh, ooh, follow him, follow the fishy. Yup, yup, yup. Got him. A bluegill. That ain't what we looking for. Throw that drone back. I don't know the Vermont fishing laws, so... Gotta be careful here. I'm not trying to get, uh, get a fine. Ooh, hold up. Yup. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. No, I'm locked. I'm locked. I'm locked. I'm locked. Hey, yo, stop moving, bro. If this fish don't stay still, bro. Now, y'all remember that one fishing game that I, like, almost broke my desk to? Like, what am I... This better not be like that, bro. There we go. Ooh, keep. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Who are you hearing this from? Oh, bro, so far I'm cooking and you slacking, bro. Like, what's going on? Oh, yeah, this one's mine, bro. What we got? We got a bass? I think carp, bro. Let's chuck that back. Let me cook, let me cook. We got another bass? Bro, like, we cook. Yo, bass is low key gas. Bro, I'm keeping a bass. I don't care. That's a good catch, harp. But that's. But let's stay focused on catching carp right now. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, I'm trying to catch a whole dinner. Like, you like, oh, we just need carp, bro. Come on now. Ooh, what we got? What we got? Oh, that, th this is carp. I already know this is carp. Uh-huh. Bluegill, bro. Bro. I'm about to tweak. Hold up. I'm checking the baits again. Ain't no way we catching bluegill. What's this? Sweet corn? No, I'm switching. My hands are full. Bop. Give me this. I want the sweet corn. Bro, I swear. Try it! I am about to take my own life. No wonder this is a two-hour game, bro. At least 30 minutes of it is fishing. One carp down, two to go harp. Yeah. I am catching every single thing in the animal kingdom but a carp. If this is not a carp. Oh my... Oh my god, finally, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Woohoo, just one more carp left. You've got this. Shut up, Mike. I'm going to kill you in your sleep. I'm the villain in this freaking story. Da -na -na. Oh my gosh, dude, thank the lord, dude. Future Michael, put up on screen how long this just took. That is insane. All right, Harp, looks like we got three carp. Do you wanna head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the cheese bait, frick all this stuff, man. I am actually so done. Fishing rod? In the freaking water, bro. The weird Irish, Norwegian, Scottish house owner that I created. Frick that guy. I hate him. Frick Mike. Frick the carp. Let's get into this. Always left the door open. Dang. Probably ice cold in here. I swear I saw somebody in that corner. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. We're putting Italian seasoning on this? Come on, bro. Let's do it ourselves, bro. A little ginger, a little onion. On it. Bro's prepping the fish. Ooh. 
Hold up, the fridge is open. What? Why was the fridge open? So we need some salt. Where the salt at? So that's ginger paste. Ah! It's just the uh, Italian seasoning. Ah! What do we got right there? We got paprika. Put it in there. Yo, where's the salt at? Yeah. A little pepper. Oh, so we need some olive oil. Yeah, where the olive oil? Oh, there we go. Little yoink. And uh, some yogurt we got in here. Ah. Yeah, we cooking. Ooh. My bad, bro. Can I, why can't I put the milk in? Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies on it? Okay, I can't put the milk in here, so, uh, you know what, carp? Carp. We just gonna leave the third one? Okay. But the marinade, ah. And the veggies. Now, could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Lemon and tomatoes. Interesting, interesting. Let's get it in there. Bonk. Dude, we're cooking with diesel right now, bro. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, yeah, let's see. Now, I already know what I am not picking, and I swear, bro, if she grabs the Ouija board, I am losing my mind. Open up. Uh, not that one. Uh, let's do... Ooh, what are we thinking? We got a... What's down here? Ooh, snakes and ladders? I've never played this, bro, but I've always wanted to. Let's play some snakes and ladders, bro. How does this sound, bro? How about something that gets our adrenaline pumping? That's what I picked. Stupid. What are you talking about, bro? Hey, whatever, bro. Like, you don't mess with that. Fine, fine, fine. Let's, uh... Adrenaline pumping. Ah. Bruh, tower stacks? Bro, I grew up playing tower stacks, bro. Like, this always gets my heart going, bro. Ah, tower stacks. Nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since I've played this. Totally. It's been a long time for me, too. Okay, let's see how steady those hands are. Mike. I, I'm not... Bro. Hey, what we doing? Whenever you're ready, Harp. Yeah, let's start game. Ooh, whoa. Full mechanic? Um, I got it. What? Depending on how steady my hands are. In terms of if I gonna get this, bop. Okay, bro, this is gonna take a minute. Your tower block game is seriously on point. Okay, bro. Oh, we can watch. That one was close. <sighs> Ooh, dude, I'm tweaking. Okay, let's start low, bro. Okay. My mouse pad is not big enough for this. We good, we good, we good. Making it look like child's play, okay. Yep, yep, pranked. Stupid. Man, losing to you makes me feel like a kid again. You wanna go again? Uh, nah, let's leave it at that for now, okay, bro? Let's leave it at that for now. That was fun. That was a fun game, Harp. You did really well, thanks. All right, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Let's do it, man. I ain't trying to play Jenga for 20, uh, 20 hours, bro. Hey, a bare hands? Oh, no, he's cooked. Woo! I think our show's about to come on. You want to watch TV all we eat? Sure. Yoink. Ooh, bro, we eating tonight. So I'm shutting this basement door. It's tweaking me out. I'm sitting in the opposite chair, bro. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Hey, turn that John on, bro. Is it gonna be more queso? Very popular in Romania, uh, where mayonnaise flows. I know down we're not back on this. Like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are gonna prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath. We can start making the chocolate. Take a couple cocoa beans, 
Ah, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. I was done with it. We stir fry this. That was some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. It was really good. We make a great team, Harp. Yeah. Hey, anyways. I need to check my emails real quick. I left my laptop upstairs. Is that taking a break from work? It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. Oh, W, bro. I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up here. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. Bro, what? After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, in the sink. Can I put away the smoke yet? No? Okay. Hey, what else do we gotta do? Just watch some more TV? Half and half. Do not use diesel. So after letting the gasoline come to a boil, we can put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But you can use whatever kind you like. This ramen will taste fantastic once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles. It's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline Bro. molecules merge with the noodle molecules and they taste very good. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. Um, uh, if your oven <clears throat> catches on fire, uh, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, damn. Uh, uh <laughs> damn, that's burnt. Uh, I I'm not eating this. But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Yo, Grandma! Bro. Yo, I made you food! No, 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 it's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. Look. Ugh. Goodbye, Grandma. It's stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Get back in there. Okay, I'm glad she ate that up. I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Anyways, I guess we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen, which is ready to serve. I hope y'all enjoy eating this as much as I will. Let's eat! Okay, bro, cooking with Jeffrey, man. What a, uh, what a trip. Um, whoa. You, you, you can beat me, but you can never beat the taste of UFO burgers. I can't, I can't, bro. This is, I just, I, I feel like I just brain rotted. Oh, we can wash them, my bad. I'm keeping my eye on this window out there. I don't know what's gonna be like the twist to this. All right, we watch those. I gotta watch anything else. Close this. The milk's still there. Can't do nothing about that. We got Michael Carter. Um, I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? What? Nah, he's playing, bro. I know gang's playing. Walk slow. Nah, bro. He's he's about to jump scare us. Ready? Ready? You know Mike. Bro, I'm done, bro. You think you're so funny, Mike. Tiny cheeks. You didn't get me, bro. Gotcha. You're lucky I don't break your nose. Yeah. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get back to you for this. Yeah, I'll say that. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. Bro, we playing hide and seek? Okay, bro. I decided to hide in the basement. Ooh, probably the worst choice, but okay. Now we're cooked. Yo, can I hide in here? Yo, open it up. I can hide in there. Ooh, nah. Keep it down.
Bruh. Ain't no way, bro. Got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Pranked. Bruh. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. I bet. Oh, down here we doing that? Oh, we're cooked. She, we about to get whispered in our ear. One Mississippi. Speed run. Oh. I did not read what the, the other messages were. Speed run, bro. You cooked. Where you at? If this dude jump scares us again, I'm tweaked. Okay, so Brody's upstairs. This door shut. He's in there here. He's somewhere in here. Oh my god! I got you in 4K! Bro, I see you in there, bro. Got you. Hang on, Arp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shit, money. You fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Up here? I couldn't reach it without the step stool. Is that, can I turn this drone off? Dang. Open that. Ooh. I know he's not just down there. <gasps> oh no. He just brought us up here alone. Bro, we're tweaked. Oh my gosh. Kitty cat? What's up, kitty cat? Little guy? Hold up. Hey, yo, come on, bro. Follow me, bro. Let's get going, bro. What are you doing down here? This bro causing a ruckus, bro. No wonder the owner couldn't find him. Bro's trapped in the attic. Come on, kitty. Where's he at? Kitty cat? Are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Well, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Okay, bro. Oh, bro's counting again. I'm done. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. We really playing hide and seek right now when there's a little kitty starving, bro? Come on. Alright, let's go in here. Let's just chill in here, bro. Let's look through the window and see it, bro. What's bro doing? Ooh. Hold up, hold up. We about to find him. Now you gonna find us, bro. Boo, cracker. Oh, okay. There you are. Damn, Harp. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. Okay, Socrates. My turn. Close those pretty eyes. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Bed, 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 bed. Okay. Close eyes. Okay. Bro, we are doing a lot of activities right now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. I'm ready or not, here I come. Low key, bro. I can mess with hide and seek with the with, with the homies, bro. Hide and seek, low key. Low key fun. Where is that coming from? Was that coming from up here? Bro, what's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you in here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. Have you heard anything before that? It must have been the old lady. Remember? <laughs> you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. 
we rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Let me handle this mic, okay? Get law enforcement? Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Wait, did you tell bro about the cat? Don't call me if it starts leaking again. Okay, bro. Creepy old man. No wonder this shot got three stars. Ooh, a little cut. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. I feel like this episode has a lot less um, dialogue. Ooh. Why is the screen doing that? Mike? Harp, are you still awake? I'll just leave with someone's knocking at the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Okay, bro. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Oh, Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? That's nice of you. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Bro, is this dude... I know this dude is not shooting right now, bro. What a day, huh? <laughs> This was exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns this place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant. Sydney, he shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Yeah, me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Yep. Now get... Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Bro, I'm gonna be honest. I think you like the antagonist of this. You freaking me out, bro. Nah, he's shooting right now. Harp, you know. <laughs> let me uh, let me get into the mind of of Mike so I can get this dialogue down, Pat. Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You know. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cook. Bro's pondering. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. I do remember it really well. Oh yeah? Do tell. I remember being pretty awkward. It, it didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm fucking done! Oh my god, I don't know what to say. I guess I'll have been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. I don't think this is a good time. I'm not a big fan of Mike, bro. I think y'all already know that, though. We got a message, though. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. <laughs> it's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> Bro. I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? I bet, bet, bet. 
anything to get out of this scenario. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed. I'll meet downstairs. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our eyes off. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. But uh, if the car crashes, uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not going to lie with you. Um, we'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Weirdo, weirdo, bro. No when to pull, bro. This dude's shooting a shot that is not meant to be shot, my boy. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Bro, I would have not stayed in this house. Things are about to get freaking weird. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven it worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? No. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. Bro, this dude, Mike, is a pick-me, bro. I kind of need one right now. Where my hug at? Bro, yeah, sure. Hug through the door. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep. Sydney. Yeah, drive safe, buddy. Do not contact me again. I hope the car crash. This guy, bro. I'm done. Weirdo, bro. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Ooh. Get up. Nah, this ain't gonna be them. Do we see? Someone's at the front door. Oh, we're cooked. We are cooked. Yup. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night. But I'm in a bad spot here. I know this ain't the dude. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside while my friends get here. You're not coming in at the story, buddy. Are you effing kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? Bro, lock in, bro. It's not that cold. I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big uh Bro, dang! As you were back at the pizza joint? It is him! Hold up, we gotta get the character. You think I didn't see you? And your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you're still... Unkind. Get her, I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see a fella's truck out here either. I'm dying 901 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Whoa, bro, this town is full of freaks. He's gonna break in and try to kill us. Nah, he's still standing there, bro. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bee, my friend. Yeah, and you're a freak. A freaky freak. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Nah, bro. I am not going to sleep after that. Is he still out there? Bro, we can't even see. Yo, we're actually cooked. Someone's killing us. Oh, nah. Nope. Was that a gunshot? Get up! Mm. 
Nah. Hold up. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Text Rick. There's someone we met driving down here who's banging on the door and start threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think he... I hear moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? Dude. What was that scream, though? Yo, can I turn the lights on? I am not going outside, bro. Let's check windows. Anything? Hold up. I saw somebody. I think that's bro. Is it? Yeah, it's him. That, despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him then was a relief. That was pretty fast, bro. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone. Or no one at all. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Um. Still didn't feel safe opening the door. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Oh, dude, why can't you lie, bro? Mike, you want to pick up our friend? Hmm. So you're alone here right now, huh? Yeah, my friends will be back soon. Ooh! Open the door. So if you save opening the door, he has a hammer. Where'd he go? We are actually dead. There is no way. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. I do. I don't want to stay away. Come back over. I'm done. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Nope. No, 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 no. Open the door. Open the door. There is no way. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, we have to approach him. We're cooked. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? Bro, we gotta stay calm, bro. We gotta stay calm right now. It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, it's overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. You are... Oh, dude. What are we going to say? Can you look right now? What'd you say? Confront. We're dead. This is my house. I'll leave when I want to. Oh, nah. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. You're trespassing. Oh, dude, what are we going to do? I don't think so. If anyone leaving this house, it will be one of us. Oh, we're done. We're done. Open the door. Bro. Ain't no way. Okay, luckily our save isn't too far away. Don't have to worry about the what happened in the last Fierce Fathom episode where I kept having to do the same thing, turning, turning on that stupid power box and then dying over and over again. Yeah, so this guy's a murderer. He just bashed in that Norwegian, that friendly Norwegian traveler's head. This is insane. Okay, so as soon as he starts breaking this door, I'm heading downstairs into that little cubby and I'm turning my mic down. Okay. Move, move, move.
What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Me. What am I doing with my life? I could be doing anything. But... Oh my god! No! 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 Do we just have to sit here? We just have to sit here, bro. Is he gonna come up here? I just pet the cat. Everything's gonna be okay. Dude, I, I thought I heard a door open. Gosh, bro. Nah. That was insane, bro. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seem to think there's more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask me any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Dang bro. Survivor survived through the fifth episode. Yo, clap it up. <laughs> Fears of Fathom, W as always. Shout out Queso, I'm Dante and Berlizzi, of course, Lily Pichu. Bro, and shout out to every single dev that worked on this, bro. Insane. Bro, Rail Studios, bro. Crazy work as always, bro. No, thank you, Fierce to Fathom. Thank you. Well, guys, that was the fifth episode of Fierce to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. Fierce to Fathom just always releases bangers. Each one of these episodes is absolutely phenomenal. I can't believe how long it's already been out for, man. It's already, I, I'm almost positive, like put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's been like three years. I can't wait to see what the devs do next. I'm guessing they're probably gonna do more of these. Um, although when this game did launch, it said that there was gonna be five episodes and this was the fifth one. So we'll see where it goes from here. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go check out Fears to Fathom on itch.io and Steam. Show the devs some love. This game was absolutely phenomenal. And we still have episode four to do. I have not played Ironbark Lookout yet. Y'all remember Carson House and Home Alone and Norwood Hitchhike. I've already seen a lot of people play, so I'm not gonna play those on the channel but those two are absolutely phenomenal. So if you haven't seen those, go check out some other YouTubers who played it back in the day. But yeah, if you guys wanna see Iron Bark Lookout, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe leave a like, subscription, and even a comment. Until the next one, hasta.
Frankdörr.